How do you customize the size of a rectangular cotton wall mullion? This is episode 32 of Revit Beginner Program and we are going to talk about just that. So I have this cotton wall here, which has three vertical grids and one horizontal grid. Now to add mullions to them, I'll go into the type properties and check what mullions do I really have. Here in this template that I'm using, I have four options, two circular mullion sizes and two rectangular mullion sizes. But none of these really match my project requirements. For example, this rectangular mullion sizes have 30 millimeter square and 50 by 150 millimeter size. But in my project, I want to create a mullion that is 45 millimeters in its width and 100 in its thickness. How do I create that? Let's cancel this. Now let's go back to the project browser. Let's go to the families, cotton wall mullions and expand it. We have a few default list of cotton wall mullions that are loaded into the project. From here, if I expand the rectangular mullions, we have these two sizes. Let's go ahead and right click and go to the type properties of any one of them. Let me duplicate this and call it 45 by 100 millimeters. Now this particular rectangular mullion, which is part of your system generally, is using a system mullion profile called rectangular. This profile family that is using is already parametric and it comes along with a few parameters that it has. Width on side one and side two, thickness, offset and angle. So you can already start creating parametric rectangular mullion sizes. So let's go ahead and create the size that we want. Width on side one and side two basically means that from the curtain grid, side one and side two. So the total width, if when I need it to be 45 millimeters, I will actually choose this 22.5 millimeters on my left and 22.5 millimeters on my right from the curtain grid. It doesn't always have to be equal. If your project requirement is to have a different values on each side, you can always choose that. For now, I'm going to make them equal. Regarding its depth, let's make it 100 millimeters in thickness. I'm going to say OK to this. So we duplicated an existing rectangular mullion type and changed its parameters. Now let's go back to the type properties of our cotton wall. Go into the vertical mullion's interior type. Here we have a new type available in the list. I'm going to select that and say OK. Let's go back to level 0. You see here, when you go near the mullion, you will see where the curtain grid is. And from this curtain grid, this is 22.5 on each side. Total thickness is 100 millimeters. Now we have created a new size for a rectangular mullion. But let's go back to the type properties and try to change the side one and side two. So let's go here and say, okay, this one is 30 millimeters on side two. And this one is 15 millimeters on side one. So now they're not equal on both sides. I'm going to say OK to this. And I'm going to annotate and use the dimension tool to check it. This is my curtain grid. And from here, you'll see this is side one is 15. And side two is 30. So you can also choose to make it asymmetric if that is your requirement. Let's try the same thing with circular mullion. I'll go into the project browser. Under families, I look for cotton wall mullions. Underneath, I'll go for circular mullions and choose any one of the default sizes. Duplicate it, call it maybe 30 millimeter radius. Right click, go to the type properties. The profile of this mullion is also system mullion profile, circular. And it already has a parameter for radius. I'm going to simply change that to 30 millimeter square. Now let's change one of this rectangular mullion into a circular one. I'm going to select only this mullion, which I want to change, unpin it and change from its type selector from the rectangular mullion to the circular mullion of 30 millimeter radius. So there we have changed the mullion. But here you see that it's not matching with my cotton wall panel. That is because like my curtain panel and go into the type properties, you'll see that my curtain panels are at 37 millimeters offset from the alignment of my curtain wall. So let's select a circular curtain wall mullion 
go to the type properties and add the offset of 37 millimeters to the mullion. I'm going to say OK to this and see how the cotton ball mullion is at an offset of 37 millimeters. This 37 millimeter is really from the center of your mullion to the alignment of your cotton ball. So this is actually 37 millimeters. So keep this in mind when you're giving an offset value for your mullions. Now we know how to change the size of a mullion, but what about its shape? What if your mullion is not rectangular or circular? What if it has a custom shape? How do we customize the shape of a cotton wall mullion? That's the topic for our next episode. So please make sure that you subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next.